Golfers need to be working on their butts. On this episode of Be Better, I interview a fitness model about how a tighter, stronger, and more muscular butt can improve your golf game and protect you from injury. Hey guys, thanks for watching Be Better Golf. Like and subscribe now for lots more golf content. Today I'm here with Angela Pizzo. And Angela's a good friend of mine and also a workout partner. And I wanted to interview you today, Angela, about fitness. She's also a fitness model, right? Yes. Yeah. Fitness model, actress, other things like that. When you see people working out for, for golf, which you have, you've seen my workout as well, and uh, what I do, what do you think is the main part that is just ignored way too much as far as like a golf workout? I think your butt. Your butt is always neglected. Now, are you insulting this bodacious bubble butt no, that I have? It's or it's nice, but it could be better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not nice, and it's, very, it's almost non-existent. But uh, you have a nice strong butt. Thank you. And you were a, a great athlete in your own right, a really good softball player, scholarship and everything like that. And that she's now a coach of a softball team. Baseball and softball too are, are all based on hitting a ball with a stick. Your body, all your power and your strength, whether you're pitching, batting, driving the golf ball comes from your bottom half. So it just strengthens your whole bottom half. I have like almost no butt muscles. And if you had done no exercise in your entire life, and I had only been exercising since I was four years old on my butt, I would still have less muscle than you in that area. And just because I see so many, um, not only guys like uh, Tiger Woods, who talks about activating the glutes as a reason why he hurt his back, because he didn't activate his glutes, but um, I see Major League Baseball players, and Tiger Woods' dad, Earl Woods, said this, that when he wanted to work out, when he was a, a, a minor league baseball player, he, he saw all the players that were better than him had these big strong butts and he had not much. What are some of the exercises that uh, you do when you're just trying to work on your butt? I work on jump squats, okay. lunges, and skaters. So let's see those three things real quick. Jump okay. squats. Oh, in and out like that. Yes. Now do you ever do you ever mix up, because I've, I've seen some things about like isometrics and other things like that, do you ever mix up where you, where you go down slow, hold, and then explode to the I top? Do. Now, when I do this, I don't feel like I'm working my butt. I feel like my quads, which I have a little bit of strength in, are doing most of the work. How do I get it to activate into my butt? Is there a posture thing? Or? Yeah, definitely. Keeping your back straight. Mm -hmm. Sticking your butt out, and then when you're sitting, just think about like you're sitting in a chair. Okay. So as if there's like a little stool right here, yes. and you're gonna put your butt on it. All right. Like if you sat in a chair. So the weight is in your heels. Yes. Okay. I think it's pretty evenly balanced, but when you're sitting back, it's gonna come back into your heels. Okay. And then you're gonna push up through the middle of your feet, okay. and that's okay. also gonna work your core really good too. I would say to start out with like three sets of twenty. And uh, blah, 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 consult your doctor or whatever. Don't kill yourself trying to do this if you're uh, uh, extremely weakling. But this, this is something that, I mean, if you can get up and walk around, you should be able to do this. Yeah. So then let's see, let's see a lunge. All right, so this is a classic move we see in the gym all the time. But it works. Yes. Okay. Down, push back, and right into the next one. Okay. So go down again. So down, and basically what I'm saying, and, and Angela has told me before when we worked out before, that you go down and then you feel the flex there, kind of a clench basically, not to, to put it how it is. And then you come back up. So same thing too, like that I think is really good, is, is to go down kind of on a slow, feel the flex, and then push back. Push, push back with Push some through force. your core, yeah. Something I forgot. So that's important to keep your core just because we're tight, always working tight, on our core. That's where all of our power is going to come from for anything. Okay. Now third, uh, the third thing to do to work out your butt would be? Is skaters. And this one's really great because um, I know that baseball players are tested on this. On their lateral movement or explosion, I should say, um, from one point to the other. So, so kind of like they do the combine in the NFL and they say, what's your 40 yard time? This is a, a metric that they use in baseball to say, okay, how good is this guy going to be? Yes. Basically, how far you can jump to the side. Okay. okay, so you start on one leg and you explode to the other side. Stabilize okay. yourself and explode to the other. And once you get good, you'll be able to go faster. Okay, so when, when you're saying stabilize, so you, sh you shouldn't just like, you can go fast, but you, we're not doing this. Yeah. You have to get your entire body 
moving. Right. Make sure you're not falling over, you know, do it at a pace that's good for you. Okay. So we're going to do these three things real quick. I'm going to do them. Okay. And then you show me what I'm doing wrong, just because I know the guys are going to be doing this at home the wrong way, and I'm going to make all the same mistakes everybody at home is going to make. Okay. First, what will you have me do? Let's go back to the beginning. Jump squats. Jump squats. Okay. So I'm going to go. Where should my arms be? I, I like it here. Just like, okay. Fine. So and we're going to go. Not, not any tension, just loose. Okay. Down. How was that? Good. Good. All right, let's move on. Lunges. Okay, cool. Figure it out. So you can already tell that my stabilizing is like falling a little bit out, flex, and then back up strong. Yeah, and just stick your butt out a little bit farther to your hips. So I'm doing what? You're straight. You're, you're like this. Okay. That's what I'm saying is just start like this. So you really push. Okay. Just push your hips. Like that? Or is that like this? It's not your back thing. Just, just your hips. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, I want to be a good twerker because I don't have independent yeah. hips like that. Okay, finally the skaters. So, show me if this is right. Do me here? No. Feet together? Yeah. Just start oh, it's kind of like a flamingo. Yeah. Okay. So you're starting on one leg and then just explode to the other one. This ground is not even, but it's okay. Right. Good. It just work on, on more lateral movement and less... Less up and more across. Yes. Okay. There you go. Land on your toe so you don't hurt yourself. Oh, I got you because I was like heel striking. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to put a lot more videos with Angela, our resident butt expert for the moment. There's going to be a follow along video that you can do with Angela that is all about working out the butt. Make sure you guys are really sitting down into that squat position on each one. Okay, let's go. Check that out in this annotation here. And like and subscribe to this channel for a lot more golf stuff.